Hello friends, this is Tushar Bikute from Mythos Kilologies. Today we are going to see another concept of data science. So it's a part of pre-processing actually. This is what we call as binarization and label binarizations. These two methods are used to convert your data from one format to another format. In many cases we require uh, these particular steps to accomplish before actually applying the machine learning algorithms. Let's see what do you mean by the binarization first. Binarizing the data, like uh, converting the data in the form of 0 or 1. Just take an example, uh, digital and analog. So digital are uh, having two possibilities, 0 and 1, on and off, or yes and no, why like this. And uh, analog is having multiple possibilities where these values are discrete. If you want to convert analog values into digital format, so we must have to keep some threshold value like uh, temperature. So temperature is 30 degree, 32 degree, 35 degree, 40 degree, we say. This is what the analog values are. But uh, I need to convert this value into digital format like if value is above 30, the temperature is high and if value below 30, the temperature is low. So this high and low conversion is called as binarization. So above certain value, uh, we'll have 1, below certain value we'll be having 0. This concept is called as binarization. So values are greater than threshold map to 1 while the values less than or equal to threshold map to 0. With the default threshold 0, only positive value will map to 1. So positive negative separation can also be done. Binarization is a common operation on text count data where the analyst can decide to only consider the presence or absence of a feature rather than quantifying the number of occurrences for instance. It can also be used as a pre-processing step for estimators that consider the Boolean random variables like models using Bernoulli distribution in a Bayesian setting. So uh, these are the applications where binarization is required. So generally binarization is converting the discrete continuous value format into 0 and 1 format by keeping one threshold value over there. So let's see how binarization will do and after this we'll see the label binarizer. So I'll open my Jupyter notebook here and let's create a new file. Before writing the code I'll just show you my data set here. I've just created one data set of uh, ingredients. Let's open this data set and uh, see I'll apply this pre-processing of binarization on uh, this data and they see what kind of the output we'll be getting out of it. Let's check this. Look at the data set. For example, uh, for this case I'll just zoom it out. See this. Uh, let's have sweetness. This one. Sweetness. So it's a, it's a continuous file. It started from 1 to 10. All of other values are lying within this range. I, I need sweetness is high or sweetness is low. So two possibilities are required there. Uh, so here, here we have 10 possibilities available. I only two possibilities require that. So above 5, I'll consider 1. Below 5, I'll consider 0. And uh, based on that, this data will be binarized and stored in the form of 0 and 1. So let's see how to do this one. So I need to import this file first. So import find as SPD. Then let's see the data set present over here. Let's read this file by saying pandas. So let's see ingredients.csv. The data is present here. Check it out. Now on sweetness column, uh, I want to apply this binarizations. So let's check how this binarization will work. So let's have let's import the binarizer class first it's stored inside the sklearns uh, pre-processing package so pre-processing import binarizer so binarizer is a class stored inside sklearns pre-processing sub package okay uh, let's create the object of it pin is equal to binarizer so object is created and now on this column I want to apply it so let's extract that column is equal to data of sweetness 
okay this is what I got check it out and now if I want to apply if I have to apply on this particular element so let's see how to apply that bin dot fit transform and a call so it's extracted but I need to convert that into column vector format that's why this is required reshape it from one dimension to two dimension let's check it out this is what your column is two dimension format and let's see this okay called actually I have not given the threshold value over here so when threshold values are not given negative values consider as 0 and positive values consider as 1 so let's apply the threshold here so there's a parameter called as threshold let's have 5 threshold and now check this yes see these values are below 5 and these values are above 5 so this is what binarization actually performs binarization convert value into 0 and 1 for even even we can uh, put these values instead of the respective columns where we need to put this straight off sweetness equal to and uh, pin dot fit transform I got call and uh, now check the data say this 0 and 1 format conversion is done this concept is referred as binarization it is exactly equal to converting analog values data in the form of the digital values so whenever any machine learning algorithm requires the data in this format whether it's the input variables or the output variables we need we can do uh, this particular processing pre-processing step there now let's take uh, the second one here I open the binarizer class it's containing a threshold value there which is by default 0, 0 0.0 so above 0 and below 0 two possibilities are there will be performed the second one is a label binarizer check it out it's present in the same package scale and pre-processing label binarizer negative label 0 positive label 1 it works in the same way but uh, for this case label binarizer will work on the string data the data which is in the categorical format so uh, but the requirement is that for general requirement is that you must have two classes then only single column conversion will be done and if you're having multiple classes then it will work like one hot encoder so let's see how label binarizer will perform the operations so for label binarizer I need to import that scale and dot pre-processing import label binarizer create the object of it create it and uh, let's look at the data set again so this is your class it's a categorical variable protein vegetable fruit but uh, consider three categorical variables are there we'll see that later what's before that we'll see only for two categorical variables so first 10 entries are containing only two classes so what I will do I'll extract first 10 entries only here with new data is equal to data of data dot ILOC of all the rows sorry not all the rows till 10 rows and uh, all the columns let's check this okay so here two classes are present only I extracted first train rows protein and vegetables only these two classes are available in it okay so first train rows for this column I'll convert into the 0 and 1 format now let's do this okay, we created the object and now let's see label binarizer dot fit transform get the pattern and transform is applied uh, to new data of class let's check if I'm getting the same error here no yes now say this one 0 the first class that is protein is converted into 0 format and the second class vegetables convert into 1 format basically this format conversion is having a pattern it performs this operation by alphabetical order so 0 and 1 conversion is done I can replace that also instead of uh, 
that particular column as we have seen earlier example now if uh, what if I'm having multiple columns so in multiple columns not multiple column multiple classes in that case it will create a multiple columns and based on that this uh, conversion that is label binarization will work so these labels are converted in zero in format and if I'm getting the whole data so let's see this I will take this statement as it is but instead of new data I'll use only the data which contains three classes in it check it out now all they are having this class so three columns are created out of it the first column belongs to fruit is that fruit no it's protein second column is vegetable third is fruit okay so in this way it's converted where the zero is there that class is not present where the one is there the class is present it is almost analogous to the one heart encoding procedure in the pre-processing again so whenever the requirements are such like uh, present in the machine learning algorithms at the data pre-processing so remember that this process binarization and label binarization plays one of the most important role to transform your data into binarized format that's it uh, that's from my side if you are having any doubts or questions you just can put your questions doubts in the comments or we can mail to contacts at the rate mitu.co.in which is given uh, in the description of this particular video so don't forget to like and share this video on your social media thank you thanks a lot